Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, well welcome. I'm Adrienne, I live in New York City. I love makeup and beautiful things. I love playing with makeup. I think it is very, very healthy for my mental well-being. It is a way that I de-stress. It's been that way since I was a kid. And um, if you are like that, if you are like me, maybe you will find some of this entertaining. I love to share products and so I am about to kick off something I've only done twice before which is a 30-day challenge last ooh, has it already been a year and a half or so well anywho I have done a 30-day 30 lippy challenge I have also done a 30 day of 30 single eyeshadow challenge because I had a lot of singles for me this is a series that helps me establish kind of my thoughts and my feelings about some of the things I've purchased recently. It also helps me understand my own preference better and whether I've changed opinion on textures or smells. It helps me also maybe call down on some of the products that I have. So this challenge will also be a 30 day, 30 lippy part Two. I have tons of new lip products I have been dying to talk about. Some of them I don't like, some of them I love, some have replaced old favorites. I will also during this month maybe uh, do a declutter. Maybe I will shop a bit and let you guys decide what lippies I should try next. Maybe I will give you an update on some of my favorites. Are they still favorites? The point is that for 30 days, I am gonna be focused on lip products, any type of lip products, from lip balms to lip glosses, lip liners, to lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, all that good stuff. So if that is interesting to you, stay tuned. We're gonna get started now, right now, I've been sitting with this product for a bit. It is not even on my lips because I'm about to put it on and talk to you about what I feel, how I feel, how I thought I was gonna feel. Um, that product is the new Laura Mercier Petal Soft Lipstick Crayon. This one here, It I got mine in the shade Jean and this is the component here. So first off, this is not an inexpensive product. This I think runs about $28 in the States. That I find to be quite hefty, but I expect a lot from Laura Mercier. I think the quality generally of their products is pretty good. Um, really iconic in many cases. I think of their eyeshadow sticks. I think of the setting powder. They have some beautiful products. Their blushes, the blushes. Um, so I was expecting a lot. And when I pull this out and the lid doesn't even snap very well on this, um, this is like color pop, cheapy, cheapy, very, I say color pop, not because of the quality, but because their packaging is inexpensive to keep costs low. And so I don't mind spending, you know, $8 on a product or $6 on a product. When I spend $28 on a product, I expect something a little nicer than this. And this is just the lightest plastic without like a security kind of snap to it. Really, really disappointing. The next problem with this is the shade. It's nothing like kind of what I thought it was gonna be based on the swatches on the website. I'm gonna insert the picture here. I, now I know Ulta has, is notorious for having horrible kind of photographs, but this is coming from Laura Mercier's site. So I'm just, I was really confused, but let me, let me show you what it looks like on. So that's the color. Um, that's just one layer. It gives this real um, kind of blotted lip effect. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips whatsoever. I am not the biggest fan of the color. It's a little ho-hum for me. Uh, let me 
try to build this up. So you can see on the bottom lip there, it built up ever so slightly. And there you have it. This is about as dark as this color is gonna get. And I just want you to see the color in the tube sort of looks like it would be a little terracotta. The color on the lid looks like it would be quite kind of mauve leaning rose. And then I have this kind of middle of the road warmish pink. Um, I don't think it's the best color on me. It's not particularly flattering, it doesn't do it, but we'll set the color aside. Um, and also the inaccuracy of sort of the description online. I do like the feeling of it. Like I could see myself wearing this all day long, but I don't know that I would want to. So for me, I like products that I feel either are giving me full on color and I'm making an impact and I will bear wearing them in whatever state that the that I have to get them. So whether that's a liquid lipstick or whatever it might be, I'm willing to deal with like not having maybe the most hydrating lips for the day or whatever it is. If I'm going to be wearing something that's kind of a blotted lip look, I would want it either to be a much more permanent stain, which this is not, or I want to feel like a hydrated balm, something that I don't mind reapplying throughout the day because it feels like it's doing something healthy for my lips. This doesn't do anything healthy for my lips. It does stay put quite well because it is a very thin formula that adheres to the lips and there's a slight kind of nourishing quality, but it's very, very slight. But I will attest to the fact that it does have a decent wear time. So you'll be applying this a couple of times during the day and it will layer well. I just, I just expected more. I love the crayon methodology of putting on lip products. I mean, it is kind of idiot proof. It's one of the reasons I adore the NARS lip crayons as well, because it's just so easy to draw the line. It's easy to throw into your purse, but for the color impact that it's giving, for the color tone it's giving, I'm just not impressed. I would have to say skip on these. Unless there is a color that you swatch in store that you feel is just fantastic or you're a diehard Laura Mercier fan, I don't know that it's offering something very unique. I mean, Sure, it's kind of a blotted, washed, soft look. I will agree with the description of petal soft because um, it does kind of look like it's a petal, kind of like the ro like a rose petal, how there's the, a velvety quality to it, at least from appearance. It doesn't feel vel velvety when you touch the lips, um, but it looks velvety. I just am not just the biggest fan. Um, I just was, I think, expecting so much more. I think maybe if this were priced $12, $13, $14, max, max $14, I would say, yeah, sure, I like it and I would keep it. At $28, I just think it's too, too high of a price for what you're getting. And the fact that the colors are misrepresented is not a good thing, not at this price point. So unfortunately, I'm kicking off the series with a little bit of a dud, but it's not like a terrible, terrible dud. Um, but yeah, give me your thoughts. Have you purchased this product? Do you feel differently about it? I feel like it's, it could be for some people, especially those of you, and you know who you are, who love lip stains and maybe a comfortable lip stain format. This is it. It won't stain your lips, but it'll give you kind of that blotted look effect. So it might actually work out for you. Um, just for me, it's, it's a, it's a no-go. If you are curious about any other videos I've posted regarding this series, I'm going to try to create a playlist where I'm going to put together all the videos so that you can kind of binge if you want to. Um, and if you're curious with anything that is on my face, which I am not the happiest, it looks pretty good on camera, but 
I'm not a happy girl with this foundation and blush. Oh no, 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 no. Bad things are happening if I come close. Bad things are happening. But if you are curious, I will list what I'm wearing on my face down below. So I hope that you enjoyed day one of this 30 day journey. Stay tuned. There's lots of goodies coming your way. And again, please, please, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications. So you know, when these videos come up and also writing down in the comments below, letting me know, what do you want to see? What lip product are you curious about that I have yet to talk about? Cause I've talked about quite a lot of lip products in my YouTube channel. I'm a bit of a lip cuckoo, maniac, fiend, something like that. And so what lip products do you want my opinion on? There are brands I haven't touched with a 10 foot pole, probably because financially they will kill me. Um, I don't know if I've ever said this or if I say this enough, but none of my content is sponsored in any way, shape or form. And everything I purchase, I purchase with my own money. So I like to keep to a very objective perspective and really not like to um, muddle, muddy, 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 muddy the waters. So um, if that perspective is interesting and if you have something that you are just dying, burning to find out, is it really as good as people say? Let me know. I might surprise you and you might affect this 30 day, 30 lippy challenge, maybe on day 27 or 28. But uh, yeah, so comment down below and let me know. Well, hope everyone is doing well and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.